Happy Tuesday afternoon, evening. I'm not sure when this video is going up. Little shop update. What have I got done so far in the shop? Well, if you can see behind me, let's go take a look. The east wall is looking more and more like uh, we're moving in. So, for right now, guys, we're going to keep these cool workbenches that were left behind, A and B. I took the, remember that there was a dresser there? I put our, our uh, one of our toolboxes we had in the old shop at the old house, and I stacked another cabinet thing that I had over there. And I'm just kind of going through and organizing. It doesn't look like it's organized, but we'll get there. Uh, we've I've been doing projects basically on the side, you know, work-related projects. I've got kind of our oil shelf going on. I've got my tool shelf, and then I've got spare parts thrown up above. These shelves are very rickety, and I do not like them. They are going to come out. And then we're going to come down from the rafters and then we're going to come across we're going to build some really nice shelves above the workbench but the pegboard fits really well there so i don't know how i'm going to do that we're probably going to just come down right where leave a gap here come down and then go over cross that window but yeah for right now this will get us by until i build that over here same story i've got kind of my my carpet cleaning shelf here uh, this is actually a, a bunch of jars full of nuts and bolts but I've, then I've got spare parts for units and stuff like that above but these are rickety shelves they are gotta come down they gotta go and we're gonna build some probably from the floor up we're gonna do shelves over here and then that cabinet will scoot that way or go underneath I don't know but for right now this is a temporary setup Got the puppy thermometer. I had moved the, the puppy thermometer from this corner over here. Is gets hotter for some reason, maybe with the window there. But it, this corner is always really you can like walk over there and it gets warmer. But out here in the middle of the shop is more accurate for temperature inside the shop. I noticed so right now. I just got out here about 30 minutes ago, fired up the air. It was about 85 in here, so we've lost in 30 minutes, we've lost five degrees, which is good. I'm going to be pulling in one of my, the Bronco leaves a mess. We've got our, our drip uh, cardboard down. I got to clean my $100 bill over here. She's dirty from the old shop. But uh, I'm going to clean this bay. We're going to get the uh, one of the work vans in here and I got to do an oil change and service. This corner is a mess still. Uh, I got some, this all this stuff on the floor needs homes still. Yeah, they're homeless. Along that wall is kind of going to stay that way for right now uh, with that stuff. I don't have homes for it. Don't have the supercharger doesn't have a home yet. The this needs to, needs to go on my truck and get out of the shop. I'm canning the 460. I don't know. I'm, I might throw it up for sale as a core along with let's see that that box would be the parts and that crank and then the heads over here. They just need to go bye bye. I'm gonna keep some parts though for the 429. But we got parts up there on that shelf. I've thrown parts up there on that. But this wall is looking pretty organized. I've got uh, extension cords up there, some spare vacuum hose. That spare hose for the air compressor, which is actually gonna get installed. So that'll be a free hook there. My anchor for the boat, all the anchor um, rope, and then my squeegee. So yeah, this will probably change from, from where it looks like now. Probably in a week or two, it'll look different again. A lot of things are going to look different. They're just, we're trying to get spaces opened up so I can at least do some things while I'm here in the next couple weeks. These two ladders will probably get thrown They'll probably get thrown away. They're old wooden ladders. They're not very good. But this bay is kind of my wife's bay at the moment. And this winter it'll be her bay to park her car in here. But um, this corner, eventually, I'll have shelving along this wall. And then on this wall right here, there's probably is where the wood stove is going to end up going. And she'll have to come in at an angle. 
If the wood stove is he gonna, either going to go on this wall right here where all this shelving is right here and then we'll build a really nice shelving system over here or the wood stove will probably end up going where this uh, my, my tool chest is and we'll have to remove the puppy thermometer to another location. I don't know where the wood stove is going yet but it's going to go in here somewhere. Just haven't figured that one out yet guys but we'll kind of go to this corner of the shop here. Just kind of show you, oh yeah, so a lot of storage is gone up there, air compressors up there, a lot of camping stuff is up above. But yeah, kind of show you what we got going on here. It's looking a little better than it was uh, about a week ago. You couldn't even get anything in here. So, still got a lot to do guys, but all in all, starting to come together. I need to get my brother-in-law over here, or maybe my father-in-law over here, and we're gonna start putting can lights in everywhere and get rid of these things. They're just not bright enough. We'll look from the other corner back that direction. Got a couple of carpet cleaning tools hung right here, along with all my fishing pool, poles, my, my, my poles, my kids' poles, and my grandpa's old fishing rods, which I don't have them all out yet. But I'll probably end up filling all those hooks here real shortly once I get everything unpacked. Well, enough of the shop. Let's go take a look what I've done outside so far. Oh, we can't forget this little 10 by 10 area, which is kind of a mess right now. The dog bed, dog bed, they sleep outside. Um, just kind of using this as <laughs> storage, but I'm going to build shelves over here on this wall. For right now, it kind of houses my products. This does. <laughs> houses my products over here and along up here. But uh, got the fridge installed. I think that was in the last video when we walked through here. Not 100% sure. Hey, Gus. A hot dog, go jump in your pool that I have set up for you. Um, out here, well, here's all the bricks. I think that was in a video. I've been actually in the evening, right now it's 95, 96 degrees outside, and it's been super hot. Gus, did you get in my garbage again? Gus, you got my garbage again because I put that away a little bit ago. So, back here. Got a pool for the dogs and the kids, and uh, probably get a bigger pool eventually. That one's a little wimpy, but uh, we started the paver uh, patio. I'm kind of getting the hang of things, and then we're gonna we'll do a we'll do a before and after, and we'll kind of do a little filming on this. But I've got all the bricks up out of here that they just had randomly scattered, unleveled, and we're actually packing the gravel, and we're we're doing a level ish paver patio it'll be a lot better than what they had but that's where the hot tub's gonna go so i want to get this done first and then i got to dig a trench over to plumb in for electrical and all that stuff so kind of what i got going on for the back area uh, papa came over and sprayed all the weeds and as you can see they're all dying off i just got to get out here and mow them down i did that on the front side of the property already the Bronco sitting out here. I got a rabbit hutch and some other stuff that's just doesn't have homes yet, but we're getting there. As soon as uh, the paver patio is done, we're gonna move the smoker over there. But uh, Bronco's have been kicked out of the shop for a couple days. She's already collecting dust outside. So out here is looking really nice. Uh, we've got the weeds whacked down. Papa did some weed whacking. I did some mowing over the top of the really big ones with my mower since I had a new blade on it. I just raised it all the way up and went to town mowing and bagging weeds. And it actually turned out really nice out here. We have got to get rid of all of this before one of the dogs or the kids get into it. So far, everybody's been fine, but there's cactus everywhere and I'm not a big fan of it. I've already accidentally caught my uh, foot on some cactus over here and I went to town and kind of destroyed that, but it's not easy to get rid of. So if anybody has an idea, uh, drop it in the comments below uh, how I can get rid of this cactus in an easy... We've thought about bringing the tractor over and just taking the bucket and scooping it out, but that's going to wreck all this rocked landscaping. So I don't know. 
decided to keep this stump. Papa took down that tree right there by the fence line. Opened up a mountain view of Jefferson from the house. So we have a, if you're standing up in the house, actually, these trees right there don't really get into your, don't obstruct the view because the house sits up higher than where we're standing at right now. So over here, we still have a hot tub on a trailer. Have the hot tub up on the trailer, which in the next couple days, that's going to actually be taken out back, set on those pavers, and I'll actually paint the siding to match either the house or the red fence back there. Not sure which one I've I haven't decided yet. But over here, I had all that spare gravel. Remember, we were talking about that in a previous video. I took that gravel and I spread it around this tree with these rocks. Did my first little landscaping touch since I've been here. I think it turned out pretty good. Let me know what you think. Over here, we've got Scott's beautiful 1979, 78, 79. Ford two-wheel drive super cab 460 truck and we have pop and I have, the other night had our saws out and we bucked that tree up that I was just talking about previously got all the wood bucked off that that we wanted and then we took all the branches and stuffed in the back of that so now I got to take that out to Papa's house got to take it out there because I can't burn out here at all um, well there's a lot more restrictions out here but we weren't we're not going to burn during the summertime anyway we're gonna let that dry out in this fall when we have a good rain or uh, rain or snowstorm. We'll light off his burn pile, get those burnt, Just get them burnt up. All right. So, in the future, future plans here is this. This is the property line here. That Honda is not mine. So there's the the fence back there. But this woodshed is kind of in our garbage area for you know unpacking boxes and kind of getting rid of stuff. So. This woodshed will be full of wood come September, October, and I need a garbage area. So what I'm going to do with this building here, and we'll do an episode on it, is we're going to take and extend this 10 more feet this direction. We're going to get rid of this tree, and this building is going to get extended 10 more feet this direction. We'll have a po the post will be right out here, and another one right back over here. But extend it 10 feet, won't cost too much monies. Just the most expensive thing is this metal sheeting that is on the roof and on the siding. But I'll have I'll price that out here real soon and I'll let you know how that's, how much that's gonna be. But so yeah, I'll have a woodshed and then you'll have a garbage area slash tools, yard tools, wheelbarrow, um, you know, hoses, garden hoses, you know, to make 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 that all and I wanna get a snow blower. I've been shopping on a Facebook marketplace and for three, four hundred dollars People are selling their brand new snow uh, snow blowers they bought two years ago when we had snow mageddon, and we didn't have snow last year. And everybody's just like, "Oh, I don't need it anymore." It's like, it'll snow again. It may not be this year or next year, but it'll it'll happen, and you're gonna wish you had that snow blower. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick one up for three four hundred dollars and stick it in that building. So when it snows, we can make a nice trek to the driveway or down to the gate and back with the snowblower but if it gets too deep I'll just snag Papa's tractor but it'll be nice to have around back for the hot tub area and just between the shop and the house the excursion did wonderful on our trip down and or up and back out of the mountains to the lake about seven and a half miles to the gallon <laughs> brought the pajanga over we're gonna be working on this tomorrow evening possibly the next evening we're going to go to the lake Sunday, and we're taking the pajanga, so we're going to put some wax on her, clean her up, and fix a couple things. Diesel dog, what are you doing? So yeah, we'll have some, uh, we'll have some pajanga time real soon. The truck mount is still broken in this van, and we're going to have a, a video sooner than later, because I want to get her back up on the road. I missed that truck. So stay tuned for that one. Alrighty guys, I'm heading back into the shop where it's nice and cool. Hit that subscribe button. Drop a like, give me some comments, give me some input in the shop, what you think so far, what should I do differently, kind of turned into a shop and property uh, update. I think I'm going to do this every Tuesday or Thursday, uh, depending on how much it changes outside and inside the shop, kind of just, you know, show the updates. Big changes like the, 
when I start really getting going to town on that paper patio, I'm going to film that as an episode just to show you how I'm kind of doing it. Not no landscape ep expert at all, but I'm just, you know, I'm not going to pay somebody tens of thousands of dollars to put in a paver patio back there because eventually I, what I want, what I want to do is bring those pavers all the way to the shop so I have a nice walkway so I'm, if it rains, snows, it's not all muddy mess going from the shop to the house. So guys, with that being said, this has gone on long enough. Hit the subscribe, hit the like, give this video a big thumbs up. We'll catch you next time on Central Oregon Shenanigans, automotive stuff. We'll, we'll get back to her. We'll get back to her. James has been busy and Kyle's been busy. So as soon as things slow down and I'm, I'm unpacked, I'm so hot, I need some, something to drink. I can't even talk. But as soon as I slow down, we'll get the automotive stuff rolling. I've got a couple ideas and some new things coming up on the channel as soon as we get settled in the shop and things slow down at work. Okay, guys, till next time, see you here.